Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're so thrilled to be here today to talk to you a little bit about the I'm a Witness campaign. Um, but before we get into that, let us just introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Cassie Norman. Uh, my name is Hannah Whitmark. And I'm Kate Bainham. So we've structured our conversation today to talk to you a little bit about the insight and the background of how we developed I'm a Witness campaign. We're just three members here. We were a part of a much larger group of people at Goodby Silverstein and Partners that worked on this for probably about a year, year and a half before it actually launched. So about three years ago today, um, Adobe and the Ad Council came to us and tasked us with developing an anti-bullying campaign targeted at teens that would actually work. So we started thinking about bullying, how we experience bullying, um, and dug into what it would be like for a teen today. So it's no joke that um, things have changed a lot. Um, it used to be that bullying would stop when you left the, the school. It might follow you when you're on the bus a little bit, but for the most part, your home was your safe haven. Not today with kids. Um, with social media, the cyberbullying can follow them everywhere, and it can sneak in through the front door kind of unannounced, and nobody really sees it except for the ones experiencing it. So what we wanted to do was to kind of dig into the issue a little bit more. And as we begun to look at it, we came across this documentary by Lee Hirsch um, called Bully Project. And if you guys haven't seen it, I really recommend seeing it. It's incredibly powerful. Um, and it talks about this main character named Alex who goes through his day being bullied pretty much every day. So let's take a look at just this clip, um, and I'll talk to you a little bit afterwards about how this inspired uh, the I'm a Witness campaign. Punch me in the jaw. Strangle me. And knock things out of my hand. Take things from me. Sit on me. They put, push me so far that that I, I want to become the bull. When we saw um, and watched this documentary happening, we all got in a room, and, and how we like to usually work is to brainstorm together as a team and, and talk things through to kind of get to the root of the issue. And all of us were talking about this bus scene in the sense that this kid, Alex, clearly being bullied. There's the kids on the bus, that are doing the bullying, but what about all of those people on the bus that are watching it happen? You can see the kids watching him being bullied and wanting to do something, but maybe don't know how. So how, the, the question remained to us is how do we talk to those kids that are witnessing the bullying happening and get them to do something and activate them? Thank you. <clears throat> So we came across this static, uh, statistics that seven in 10 uh, teens are actually affected uh, by cyberbullying. But just 20% is willing to do something about it. But when they actually do something about it, bullying stops within 10 seconds, 57% of the time. <coughs> and that led us to our new target. We didn't want to talk to the bullies. We didn't want to talk to the victims. We wanted to talk to the witnesses. But the question still remained how we could make the witnesses going from passive to active. And then we decided to make our campaign name active. So we named our campaign to be called I'm a Witness. And the thing with the witnesses is that they want to do something, but they are really, really scared of doing something alone. Because if you're doing something alone, you're probably going to be the new target. But together, they're feeling really strong about actually doing something. So we needed to find a way how to like, collectively like, get these witnesses together and find a tool how they can actually fight cyberbullying. Uh, 
And we learned three years ago that emojis was the fastest growing la uh, language among teens. So we wanted to take advantage of that. So we came up with the idea that we wanted to create a tool for kids to use when they see cyberbullying. And it became the witness emoji. And this sounds like a pretty easy idea, but it wasn't. We went down to Silicon Valley and pitched the idea. The partners were amazing because they had been bullied or they had a kids that had been bullied or maybe even was the one who was bullying kids. But it took us months and months. We didn't hear anything back. We just knew that they really liked the idea. And then a couple of months later, we got a phone call and they said, be ready to launch the idea. The I'm a witness emoji is going to be in the new update. Update the phone. And now we actually have an emoji in almost all of the phones around the world. And it's also the first emoji that is linked to a social cause. So that's something that we're super proud of. And what was even more powerful is that we were able to unite all of these social platforms together around just one cause. And it's oftentimes on these platforms that the bullying is actually happening. So it was very selfless of them to be able to stand up with us. So two years ago when we launched I Am A Witness, we launched with an incredible amount of support from a number of partners that really gave us the ability to stand up in the public space and make ourselves heard. Because if Johnson & Johnson is standing with you, then you know that you're doing something good. So while phase one was all about getting the word out, phase two was more about linking the emoji to anti-bullying as well as showing teens how to use it. We couldn't just talk to them in traditional media. We really needed to make sure that what we were doing and who we were choosing to use and work with was a smart decision. We partnered with all of these partners that you see here. I just said partner 18 times. Uh, <laughs> to talk to teens directly, we wanted to start a conversation rather than just lecturing them because the 60 second TV spot, while effective and beautiful and emotionally rendering, it also feels like it's coming from an adult. Whereas, I mean, if you remember back to being a teenager when an adult told you what to do, it was easy to ignore. Uh, and we also discovered, and this was very humbling, is that if it's a platform or a company that you haven't heard of yet, it's probably the best place to talk to teenagers because they are there. Um, we did a lot of work in year two. We did a design your own emoji contest where we worked with Instagram famous graphic designers to do art for us inspired by the emoji that also got teenagers involved. Uh, we worked with a lot of YouTube influencers to do videos at VidCon and PSAs for us. And then we also worked with like Wishbone and Whisper and Slingshot to start these conversations that became very emotional and uh, healing in a way. I think it was also just really important for us from the get-go when we looked at all of the campaigns that were out there, like Hannah had mentioned, it was a lot of talking to the bullies saying don't do this, talking to the witnesses, or excuse me, the victims saying it gets better. But it was really important for us to make sure that it felt like it was coming from the teens and not coming from an adult authority figure. So, which is why we needed to, as Kate said, look at partnerships where teens were right. and, and make sure that how we talked to them from all of the design to where we placed it to what the message was didn't feel like it was coming from an adult. And yeah, and through all the social channels, it became you know this movement called "I'm a witness" that kids actually stood up to become like a part of this right. whole anti-bully movement. And when they saw bullying, they knew exactly what to do. Yeah. So one of the exciting things about working on a campaign like this that doesn't happen every day when you're doing advertising for other brands is that you get companies coming to you asking what they can do to help. So we were very excited when Paramount came to us and said, we want to use the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to help you out. And we have a video. Oh, oh no, that's not, not it. <laughs> what are you, superheroes? Just four brothers who hate bullies and love this city.
So when you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, pretty much all your PR is done for you. Uh, but when we get the help of actual superheroes, it's, you feel very rescued. Uh, and then with Disney, what we also got from them, this was an incredible partnership because they provided so much support for us by giving us access to their stars. We had like, people like Rowan Blanchard uh, providing on-screen PSAs and social commentary, and as well as, uh, this was also just one of the few examples of traditional media that we used, but it was super effective because it was in the place where we would actually be talking to our target rather than nightly news at 6 p.m. And then finally, on Musical.ly, we got, this was amazing. They were all amazing. This was especially exciting because they told us that Alicia Cara, which if you turn any radio station in LA on right now, you will hear one of her songs. It doesn't matter what radio station it is. But they wanted to do a contest where kids could lip sync and act out her song, Scars to Your Beautiful, uh, and submit it to the contest. And we have a video for this too. We got a So with these videos, we got over 128,000 unique video submissions to the hashtag I'm a witness, as well as an estimated 150 million impressions across all the videos. And we've been very fortunate to have the amount of support from partners that we've received who've dedicated their time and their money and all of their hearts to this cause, which has resulted in 30 million video views, $7.5 million in donated media. And then through our efforts in year two, we have campaign awareness increased to 38% among teens. And a teen linkage of the emoji to anti-bullying increased by 11%. And then because we're a creative agency and we don't know if we're doing the right thing unless we're winning awards, <laughs> uh, we've also been able to accept awards at the One Show, the Andes, DNAD, CAN, and then of course most recently here at the 4As. And we are so grateful to have been able to work alongside the Ad Council and all of the partners that they brought into this uh, because it really was a group effort. They say it takes a village, but this was a global superpower. Uh, and with all of these accolades and numbers, we have one thing that we're especially excited about, and that is that kids were no longer silent about bullying. Thank you.